going on everyone? Uh, I'm going to show you a simple trick today to uh, install a sewer hose uh, carrier for underneath your camper if your camper didn't come with one. Uh, we just purchased a uh, Jayco Eagle HT 29.5 BHDS and that's got the winter package so it's insulated underneath um, and it did not come with a bumper on that one so uh, we're going to show you an easy way to uh, install that septic hose holder just using some stuff that you can get at Lowe's. I just got back from Lowe's. I bought this uh, 5 inch fence post cover, small piece of angle iron, 4 8 inch by 3 8 inch uh, hex bolts, 4 small springs, 4 small cotter pins, and then to use for the tray uh, to pull your septic hose across that 8 foot. Um, it's just a plastic rain gutter that I'm going to cut and make a tray out of. First thing that I'm looking for is um, I want to mount it as close to the tires as possible. That way if you're backing in or out uh, of a campground or, or a, uh, going up a hill or something, your, cam your camper is going to go up and down but it's going to pivot on those tires. So uh, plan is put it close to the tires. Uh, that way we, it doesn't ever scrape on anything. Um, and then um, We'll go from there. See what um, see what it looks like. So stay tuned. We're gonna paint this black first of all, and uh, get it mounted up. Thanks for watching. All right. So like I said. I'm gonna go ahead and paint all my stuff black. Uh, matches everything else underneath the camper. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and make sure your plastic's all good and dry. You can get this sprayed down, get your cap sprayed. And uh, I'm gonna even do the small piece of angle iron. So get this painted up. got everything painted we're gonna go ahead and start prepping under the camper looking for where we want to put this this setup at like I said I want to be close to my wheels that way no matter what the front or the back of my camper do does this is um, up and out of the way your, your pivot point is going to be closer you can get to your pivot point the better it's going to be to make sure you don't knock this off so we'll do that while this paint dries so now we're getting ready to start looking where we want to mount this uh, like I said, I want to get it as close to the middle as the camper as possible. But one thing you have to think of, um, I'm, I'm looking at this right now because with my slide out. Uh, we, we slept in the driveway last night so the slide's out. You want to um, put that in because you want to keep in mind any moving parts. So I'm going to go ahead and put that slide out in. I think where I want to mount this is actually right by uh, where you would offload your septic. So um, I found a good spot uh, where my propane hoses are out of the way. Uh, let's get this slide in and see if that's still an option with the slide in. So let's take a look at it. All right. So now let's take a look at this and see what it looks like with the slide in. I think we're going to still be able to put it where I'd like to. Let's take a look at it. So this is uh, what the side of my camper looks like with the slide out pulled in. Uh, this is uh, obviously where my septic hose hooks up and this is my uh, balance point for the camper, my pivot point. So I want to try to be as close to this as possible. Uh, I think I got a good spot right here where my frame is exposed and my propane um, hoses are uh, off the frame so I can 
uh, tie it in pretty easy. So yeah, I think what I want to do is, um, I think I'm going to come right off the frame right here. I'm going to use a, uh, if, as long as I can get by this two inch line, or inch and three quarter line, I'm going to uh, put a two by four or two here for a spacer, and then uh, I will use that as my anchor point for my mount. So let's, uh, like I said, this underside is um, all enclosed, insulated, so I don't have a whole lot of options for anchor points. I did buy uh, one online that was supposed to mount up to the bottom of a camper, but I didn't take into consideration all the insulation under these, so uh, that's why we're modifying. So let's see wh what it looks like. All right, so like I was saying, you wanna make sure we're gonna use this I-beam I frame as our anchor point right on the outside here. So you wanna make sure I'm gonna put an inch and a half two by four is not quite gonna do what I need to get it below this uh, two inch drain here. So probably gonna have to stack up a couple two inch or I can move it back. Well, that would be a pain. Yeah, that's not an option. Well, if this is my low point. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking now. All right, here's what I'm thinking. So I got the two inch line that runs the length of the camper and hits my drain. This is going to be my low point. So if I go right on the other side of that, if I mount up right there on that I beam, come down an inch and a half, we'll clear my propane hose for sure. And then I go another five inches. I'm still going to be above my low point, which is my drain. I'll just keep it as close to this drain as possible. So, change of plans. We're gonna go right in front so we don't have to fight with this two inch. I put too much, uh, I don't want it hanging down too low. Uh, so we're gonna go in front of this line. So, measure twice, cut once, right? Yeah, let's see. So let's, let's see if our two by four is dry. We'll cut a seven inch piece and uh, we'll start on this side since this is where, you know, we're gonna have obstacles. I want to make sure seven inch fits in there. We have a five inch tube and we need to bolt a bracket to hold it up. So an inch on each side, that should work for us. So let's see. All right, we're back. So we got our two by four spacer that we painted black. We cut it to seven inches. And we're gonna go ahead Pin it here. Let's see what kind of room we got. So, I don't really feel like that one's super important. Give me a minute. All right. So what I've got here is the bracket that holds up my propane line is indeed in the way. So what I'm going to do, where one of the anchor points is, I'm going to take it apart, take the bracket off, and then I will reattach the bracket to the 2x4 afterwards. Or maybe I could even use one of these, this hole as a pilot. So I'll show you what I'm looking at here. Right here is where I'm going to mount this from here to here, 7 inches. 
So I'm taking, I, I, can't, I don't want to kink that hose too much. So I'm going to take that bracket right off for now. Put my two by four in there. And then I can reattach this to the end of the two by four. So we're going to continue to take this out. All right. So what we got here, had to take this bracket out. Okay, finally got that bracket out because I didn't want to kink the hose too much. So we'll deal with that later. So now what I want to do is take this 2x4 and put it I think about right there. So the next step is uh, drilling some holes. You got to drill two holes in your 2x4, two holes in your piece of angle iron, and then you'll have to drill two holes in your frame. Uh, I'm thinking that this is going to be easier to do one at a time. So I got a 7 inch uh, spacer that I'm going to use, and I'm going to drill a hole one inch in from each side. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my angle iron. And then I'll go and mark uh, where I need to go into my frame. I think it's going to be a lot easier to um, do these separate as opposed to try and clamp them together and uh, do it all at once because going through metal can be a little wobbly. So we're going to go ahead and get our pilot holes through our spacer and our angle iron and then we'll go out and work on the frame. Now what you're going to want to do now that we got those holes pre-drilled is we're going to go ahead and install our bracket which we are going to go up through so right there and when you do this, you're going to want it to be like this. Sorry. There we go. That's going to be your bracket. So once you got all your holes pre-drilled, you're going to want to um, just go ahead and install your bracket. So you're going to have angle iron, then your 8 inch hex bolt, your 2x4 spacer, and then a locking nut on the top. And then go ahead and repeat that on the other side. So we've uh, went through that process on the other side of the camper and this is uh, what it looks like it came out real good um, so you can see same steps with the spacer um, I secured this side of the cap um, with just some Gorilla Glue um, and then I'll show you what I did on the other side as far as um, adding some springs so you can open and close but this is this is a great um, great length you can fit two 10 foot hoses in it so uh, real happy with how that turned out 
So coming back over here on the working side, uh, you can see that it's now mounted. Uh, I actually jumped ahead and uh, installed the cotter pins and the springs. So all you'll need to do is drill some holes for your cotter pins. Put these springs through the cotter pins and then do the same thing uh, on the tube so you'll never lose this, it'll always hang there. And then it's got a little bit of spring to hold it on. Um, like I said, I went ahead and ended up cutting that uh, gutter in half. Yep, you could fit two, you could fit two 10 foot sections on there and be able to reach it by pulling the tray out. So I'm um, super happy with that. Like I said, you just go ahead and push it back in. I'll probably put some kind of handle across there to be able to grab eventually. Put your lid back on. And it looks like it came with a camper. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you uh, hope this video helped you out.